Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Saturday. We've got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're going our way to 21.9k subs, so keep up the good work. Check out all my betting links in the description below, guys. Really good promos, especially with FanDuel. New customers bet five, get 150 in bonus bets. Take advantage of that, guys, in the description below. Other good promos as well. And yeah, we'll hop in it here. A uh, busy slate today. 15 matchups. Starting with the Toronto Blue Jays versus the New York Yankees. Yankees opening up as home favorites at minus 180. Toronto plus 140 with the over-under at 9.5. Toronto coming into this matchup 51 and 59. Yankees 65 and 46. Pitching for Toronto is Jose Barrios with an ERA at 3.93. Pitching for the Yankees is Carlos Rodon with an ERA at 4.19. Barrios, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up one run at five strikeouts. Rodon, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up two runs, had seven strikeouts. Toronto coming off a Yankees win yesterday. A nice underdog win from them, winning 8-5. to five, Ending the Yankees' big winning streak they were on. Um... Rodon coming off very good starts on the mound. You know, giving up two, one, and two in his last three. Uh, Barrios, he's had some, he's coming off a good start, but coming off a three and five run game. He's had some bad starts on the mound here. Um, I'm looking for the Yankees to rebound today. Just kind of a disappointing game yesterday at home. I like them to bounce back with Barrios on the mound. I'll take the Yankees at home. Next matchup, we got the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Chicago Cubs. Cubs opening up as home favorites at minus 120. Cardinals plus 100 with the over-under at 7.5. Cardinals coming into this matchup 56 and 54. The Cubs 54 and 58. Pitching for the Cardinals is Kyle Gibson with an ERA at 3.97. Pitching for the Cubs is Jamison Tylon with an ERA at 3.35. Gibson, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs, had zero strikeouts. Pylon, his last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up six runs, had four strikeouts. St. Louis on a two-game losing streak, coming off back-to-back -back Cubs losses. Uh, Cubs played well in this series so far. St. Louis, um, yeah, just two and four against the Cubs. Two and six on the road against the Cubs here. Uh, they've struggled against the Cubs. Uh, both pitchers, you know, give up some runs here. Um, I don't know. This one's kind of a tough one. Cubs have just played well here. I don't know. St. Louis on a little bad stretch this series. I think I'm going to roll with the Cubs at home today. The way they're playing. Next matchup, we got the Milwaukee Brewers versus the Washington Nationals. Brewers opening up as road favorites at minus 130. Washington plus 115 with the over-under at 9. Brewers coming into this matchup 62 and 47. The Nationals 49 and 61. Pitching for the Brewers is Aaron Savale with an ERA of 5.08. Pitching for the Nationals is DJ Hers with an ERA of 4.79. Savale, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs, had three strikeouts. Burrs, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs, had eight strikeouts. Uh, the Brewers coming off a Washington win, eight to three yesterday. Uh, yeah, nice win for them. Washington, they're struggling. Five game losing streak. They're two and eight in their last 10. Uh, Brewers, six and one on the road. They playing very well on the road here. Um, yeah, both pitchers give up runs. Savale, two of his last three starts have been very quality starts. Um, I'm liking the Brewers here. Nationals really struggling right now during this stretch they're on. And uh, I think I got to roll with the Brewers on the road. Next matchup, we've got the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Pirates opening up as... Uh, yeah, Pirates opening up as home favorites at minus 120. Arizona plus 100 with the over-under at 
Arizona coming into this matchup 59 and 51. The Pirates 55 and 54. Pitching for Arizona is Jordan Montgomery with an ERA of 5.79. Pitching for the Pirates is Mitch Keller with an ERA of 3.30. Montgomery, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up six runs, had one strikeout. Keller, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up two runs, had six strikeouts. Uh, Arizona, eight and two in their last 10. They're on a four game winning streak, beating the Pirates yesterday, nine to eight. Um, yeah, Ortiz, he got, I mean, Ortiz got lit up yesterday. If you saw that first inning, the like first, second inning, I mean, he gave up multiple homers. Uh, Pirates played well the rest of the end of that game, but yeah, horrible start for them. Um, Arizona, 7-2 and two against Pittsburgh. 15-5 and five on the road against the Pirates. That's a crazy how good they've been on the road against the Pirates. Uh, Mitch Keller have been very good for the Pirates. Montgomery, though, man, he's had his bad games. Coming off a six-run game. He had a one-run game before that, then a four-run game. So, man, I don't know. I don't know. But I like the plus money with Arizona today. We've seen uh, Montgomery capable of good games. Hopefully he doesn't repeat his bad game like he did against Washington. If Montgomery can have a good game, I like Arizona because they're playing. They're hot right now. They're hitting very well. Give me the D-backs plus one and a half on the road today. Next matchup, we've got the Boston Red Sox versus the Texas Rangers. Boston opening up as road favorites at minus 120. The Rangers plus 100 with the over-under at seven and a half. Boston coming into this matchup 58 and 50. The Rangers 52 and 58. Uh, pitching for Boston is Tanner Houck with an ERA of 2.79. Uh, pitching, let's see. All right, as I'm recording, it's currently undecided for the Rangers today. So we'll see who ends up pitching for the Rangers. Alk, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up three runs, had two strikeouts. Boston on a two-game winning streak. Beat the Rangers yesterday 11-6. to six. Uh, Rangers 1-6 and six in their last seven. Bad stretch the Rangers are on right now. Boston, 11 and 4 against the Rangers, where they've been really good. And uh, Alk, been decent uh, for them. Nothing crazy. Hasn't hurt them. Uh, we'll see who's up pitching for the Rangers, but bad stretch for the Rangers right now. Um, I think I got to take the Red Sox on the road today. Next matchup, we got the Kansas City Royals versus the Detroit Tigers. Royals opening up as road favorites at minus 140. Detroit plus 120 with the over under at 8.5. Royals coming into this matchup 62 and 49. Detroit 52 and 59. Pitching for the Royals is Michael Lorenzen with an ERA of 3.81. But currently it's TBA for Detroit. We'll see who ends up pitching for Detroit when that info does get released. Be sure to check that out uh, when that is available. Lorenzen, his last start, he pitched half an inning, gave up four runs, had one strikeout. Coming off some rough starts, you know, he had a four, two, and five run game in his last three. Uh, but the Royals, they're hot. Five game winning streak. Back to back wins. Back to back dominating wins against Detroit, winning nine to two and then seven to one. Detroit, they're on a bad stretch. Five game losing streak. Uh, four of their last five games, they've struggled hitting the ball, only scoring two, one, zero, four, and zero. So uh, they have not hit well. Royals 5-0 against Detroit. They've been very good. 5-1 on the road here. Lorenzen can have a decent game. I think they'll be all right. We'll see who ends up pitching for Detroit today, but I like the Royals. One team hot, one team on a bad slump. Give me the Royals on the road. Next matchup, we got the Chicago White Sox versus the Minnesota Twins. Twins opening up as home favorites at minus 175. The White Sox plus 140 with the over-under at 7.5. White Sox coming into this matchup 27 and 85. The Twins 60 and 48. Pitching for the White Sox is Garrett Crochet with an ERA at 3.23. Pitching for the Twins is Bailey Ober with an ERA at 3.76. Crochet, his last start, he pitched three innings. Gave up three runs, had three strikeouts. Ober, his last start, he pitched eight innings. Gave up zero runs, 
at 11 strikeouts. The White Sox did it again, losing 10 to 2 yesterday to Minnesota. Back to back games, they've given up 10. Four of their last six games, they've given up 10 runs, which is crazy. I think it's what now 16 17 18 19 game losing streak i don't even know at this point but i know it's it's pretty close to 20. um yeah it's just insane how bad this white Sox team is they're 1 11 against minnesota 0 and 5 against minnesota man i think they're about to get to like 20 losses in a row it should be pretty historic um yeah hopefully you guys have been betting against the white Sox. hopefully you haven't been betting the white Sox every time hoping they win because you've lost a lot of money Take the Twins. If the White Sox win, the White Sox are going to win at some point. But who knows when that's going to happen. Yeah, I'm continuing going to ride against the White Sox. It's been the most profitable thing in sports right now. So hopefully you've been riding that train. Give me the Twins at home today. Next matchup, we've got the Baltimore Orioles versus the Cleveland Guardians. Baltimore opening up as road favorites at minus 125. The Guardians plus 105 with the over-under at 9. Baltimore coming into this matchup 65 and 46. The Guardians 67 and 42. Pitching for Baltimore is Zach Eflin with an ERA of 4.11. Pitching for the Guardians is Joey Cantillo with an ERA of 8.10. Eflin, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, had seven strikeouts. Cantillo, his last start, he pitched three innings, gave up three runs, had three strikeouts. Baltimore on a two game losing streak uh, Cleveland they played very well this series they're on a five game winning streak they've looked very good against Baltimore uh, they're 4-11 and 11 on the road against Cleveland they've really struggled against Cleveland here until uh, don't let that 8.10 8, 8 ERA trick you he's only pitched one time this season he pitched that three innings game only gave up three runs so only you know three runs and only one start it's not that bad um, Eflin, he's had rougher starts, giving up three, two, and four runs here. But yeah, don't let the Cantillo fool you. Guardians are playing well. I like that they're plus money. I mean, Guardians plus one and a half at home today. Next matchup, we've got the San Francisco Giants versus the Cincinnati Reds. Reds opening up as home favorites at minus 135. The Giants plus 115 with the over under at nine. Giants coming into this matchup 55 and 56. The Reds 52 and 57. Pitching for the Giants is Kyle Harrison with an ERA of 3.69. Pitching for the Reds is Hunter Green with an ERA of 2.97. Harrison, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, 11 strikeouts. Been very good on the mound for them. He's given up two runs and three starts. Green, he's coming off back to back zero run games. He's been very good for the Reds here lately. Uh, Giants shutting out the Reds yesterday 3 0. They're coming off back to back shutout games, beating Oakland 1 0, then 3 0 yesterday. Uh, Reds on a two game losing streak here. Giants 5 and 2 against Cincinnati. So that they've been good head to head here. A nice pitching duel. Both pitchers barely giving up runs here. Um, I'm liking the plus money with the Giants though. They're playing well right now. I like Harrison. I also like Green. So this is a matchup I could go both ways here. But. Good pitcher on both sides as a dog. Anytime I can get a pitcher, a really, you know, a pitcher pitching very well or an underdog, I tend to go that way a lot more. Give me the Giants plus one and a half on the road today. Next matchup, we've got the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Houston Astros. Houston opening up as home favorites at minus 155. The Rays plus 130 with the over under at eight and a half. Rays coming into this matchup 55 and 54. The Astros 57 and 51. I'm sorry, 57 and 52. Pitching for the Rays is Zach Littell with an ERA of 3.95. Pitching for the Astros is Ron L. Blanco with an ERA of 2.95. Littell, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up zero runs, had five strikeouts. Blanco, his last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up four runs, had nine strikeouts. Coming off two rougher starts on the mound here. But uh, Houston beating Tampa Bay in a close one yesterday, three to two. They're on a two-game winning streak right now. Uh, Tampa Bay they've struggled against Houston, just four and ten against Houston. Um, yeah, I mean overall Blanco has been very good on the mound despite his last two games, which have been rougher for him. But um, 
like him the Astros at home. You know, I like Blanco on the mound. I like him to bounce back with some good starts here. Um, yeah, I think I think I'm gonna think I'm gonna take the Astros at home today. Next matchup, we got the Miami Marlins versus the Atlanta Braves. Braves opening up as home favorites at minus 245. The Marlins plus 200 with the over under at nine. Marlins coming into this matchup 40 and 70. The Braves 60 and 49. Pitching for the Marlins is Kyle Tyler with an ERA of 4.74. Pitching for the Braves is Grant Holmes with an ERA of 2.54. Tyler, his last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up three runs. Sorry, pitched four innings, gave up four runs, had five strikeouts. Holmes, it's only pitched once this season for the Braves. Pitched five innings, gave up one run, had eight strikeouts. Miami on a two-game losing streak, back-to-back -back losses against Atlanta. Atlanta on a four-game winning streak, playing well during this little stretch they're on. Uh, Miami, 0-6 against Atlanta. Uh, they just have not been able to beat the Braves here. Uh, Tyler coming off two two rough starts on the mound, giving up a seven total runs here. Uh, Mike Holmes looked looked solid in his first start. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna roll with Atlanta at home today. Next matchup, we got the Colorado Rockies versus the San Diego Padres. Padres opening up as home favorites at minus two twenty. The Rockies plus one eighty with the over under at eight. Pitching for the Rockies is or no Rockies coming into this matchup forty one and seventy. Padres 59 and 52. Pitching for the Rockies is Tanner Gordon with an ERA of 8.80. Pitching for the Padres is Martin Perez with an ERA of 5.10. Gordon, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up four runs, had five strikeouts. Uh, Perez, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up zero runs, had two strikeouts. Both pitchers giving up a lot of runs here. Gordon. He's given up 15 runs and three starts. Perez has given up 11 and three starts. So both pitchers getting pretty lit up here. Colorado beating the Padres yesterday 5 to 2. They're on a three game winning streak. And, and you know, tough loss for the Padres. Couldn't really get anything going yesterday. Um, crazy. The Rockies, they're 5 and 0 oh against the Padres. 4 and 1 on the road against the Padres here. This is just a tough matchup because both pitchers have been getting lit up here. Oh, uh, God, I hate him on both sides. The encouraging thing is Perez is coming off a zero-run game. But Gordon's just been getting drilled these last three. Yeah, this one's really tough. It, if Rockies didn't have such a bad pitcher on the mound today, I'd be more inclined to lean with them. But I just can't back them with Tanner Gordon on the mound here. And uh, I like a bounce back for the Padres at home today. Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the Oakland Athletics. Dodgers opening up as road favorites at minus 175. Oakland plus 140 with the over under at 8. Dodgers coming into this matchup 63 and 47. Oakland 46 and 65. Pitching for the Dodgers is Jack Flaherty with an ERA of 2.95. Pitching for Oakland is Mitch Spence with an ERA of 4.47. Flaherty, his last party pitched six innings. Gave up zero runs. Had six strikeouts. Spence, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up one run, had three strikeouts. Dodgers, three-game losing streak. Losing to Oakland yesterday, 6-5. to five. Um, You know, Flaherty making his first start since getting traded. We'll see how he plays. Dodgers, look at 4-16 and 16 on the road against Oakland. I mean, man, they've been horrible on the road against Oakland here. Um, I just knew, man, Dodgers, when they're bigger favorites, it's such a trap, you know? Till they get healthy. I just don't know if I can trust the Dodgers. I really don't. Uh, I don't like paying big as a big favor now because they just can't be trusted the way they're playing. Give me Oakland plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we got the New York Mets versus the Los Angeles Angels. Mets opening up as road favorites at minus 125. Angels plus 105 with the over-under at nine. Mets coming into this matchup 58 and 51. Angels 47 and 63. Pitching for the Mets is David Peterson with an ERA at 3.52. Pitching for the Angels is Jose Soriano with an ERA at 3.69. Peterson, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up four runs, had seven strikeouts. Soriano, his last start, he pitched two innings, gave up three runs, had two strikeouts. The Mets, uh, beating the Angels yesterday 5-1. Uh, they're playing very well. 
Angels on a three-game losing streak right now. Mets 5-1 and one on the road where they've been very solid. Um, and yeah, I'm liking the Mets. They're playing very good. Give me the Mets on the road today. And the last matchup, we got the Philadelphia Phillies versus the Seattle Mariners. Seattle opening up us home favorites at minus 130. Phillies plus 110 with the over-under at 8. Phillies coming into this matchup 65-44. and 44. Seattle 58 and 53. Pitching for the Phillies is uh, Orion Kirkening with an ERA of 2.21. Pitching for Seattle is Bryce Miller with an ERA of 3.46. Uh, Kirkering, his last start, he pitched one inning, gave up zero runs, had zero strikeouts. Um, we'll see how, uh, how many innings he pitches today. Miller, he's coming off a three run game, but his two games prior did not allow a run here. And the Phillies, man, they just continue to look bad. They're on a five-game losing streak, two and eight in their last ten. Uh, Seattle lighting up uh, Philly yesterday, ten to two. I thought it'd be a game Phillies would bounce back because they've been in such a slump. I figured they'd bounce back. That's not the case now. Playing bad, crazy because they're they're pretty much healthy, like fully healthy, and they got their full lineup. So that's not really an excuse. Um, if anything, it's Seattle that's hurt, missing. Julio Rodriguez and Crawford, you know, and uh, you would think they were the ones that were playing bad, and it's just the opposite. Um, yeah, I just think that, I don't think I can trust the Phillies, man. They're playing bad, and um, until they can maybe get another like a win or two built up, I just can't trust the Phillies. Let me see out a lot home today. That's gonna be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Saturday. Hope you guys all cash out, and I'll see you guys Sunday. Have a good one.